Pentagon trying to fit U.S. missiles on Ukrainian jets. The Pentagon is looking into the possibility of installing U.S.-made missiles on Soviet-era MiG fighter jets used by Ukraine in its conflict with Russia. Two Department of Defense officials and another person familiar with the matter told Politico. The weapons are AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air Missiles, AMRAM, designed to be fired by Western planes, including F-16s, and have a range of just over 100 kilometers, the outlet reported. However, the sources noted the challenges posed by the integration process due to significant differences between US and Soviet technology. The key problem is that the missile and the plane are unable to talk to each other, they said, explaining that in order to fire a shot, the aircraft's radar must find the target and then guide the projectile close to it. The issues that the Pentagon has been working on are, how do you mount this thing? Can you get all the electronics in the aircraft to talk to this thing that wasn't meant to be launched? One of the officials said. The sources pointed out that there were concerns over Kiev running low on air defences as the Russian forces continue with missile attacks on Ukrainian military and energy infrastructure, while also sending out decoy balloons with radar reflectors to deplete Ukrainian missile stocks. If the Pentagon succeeds in combining AMRAMs and MiGs, it will mark the first time that the US would be giving Ukrainian aircraft the capability to fire air-to-air -air missiles, Politico wrote. The US and its allies have so far been reluctant to fulfill persistent demands by Ukraine for Western warplanes. I'm ruling it out for now, US President Joe Biden said in late February when asked about potentially arming Ukraine with American fighter jets. Ukrainian leader Vladimir Zelensky doesn't need F-16s now. There is no basis upon which there is a rationale according to our military now to provide F-16s, Biden said.